Hey guys, what's up? Don, welcome back here with another video, and um, today it's day two of Gen 3. Day two of Gen 3. I hope to get this video out by tonight. It's 4.44 right now, but it's almost dark here. Um, but yeah, anyway, today I've already had some pretty good catches. Um, I had to go to an archery tournament, and it was in a bigger like city near a downtown area. So I got some pretty good spawns. Um, I will roll the clips of all the new Pokemon that I caught today. And just some of the cool spawns that I had today. This weather thing is OP because my friend, because it was like cloudy earlier, like last night to this morning. Um, uh, my friend um, caught a Gengar right in this driveway. And I caught a Gengar around here as well. So that was, you'll see that in the clips. But anyway, let's roll the clips and I'll be back with you with my first cool catch. So actually, I'm in the car leaving town and I got a wild Gengar. And it's at 1840 CP. We're going to try to Raspberry Ultra Ball this. And um, hopefully we can catch, catch it before we get too out of range. And ooh, it breaks out. And, um... So we're going to try the Raspberry Great Ball. we got no Ultra Balls left. This is just a voiceover <laughs> because um, I just didn't decide to do it. And I just didn't decide to talk in the car. But we got a good throw. Let's see if we can get it now. Come on, I shake. There it is. And we ha got the Gengar 1840. This, this was unbelievable. And it was at 6.41 a.m. This was just <laughs> leaving town. Unbelievable. Look at this. Look how many gaslights there are, and there's also a silhouette for later. Anyway, right here, we also have a wild Nuzleaf, and I haven't even caught a seed out yet. We were actually sitting in a restaurant, um, actually after my archery tournament, and I found this, and I absolutely love this guy as he dodges. I absolutely love the Nuzleaf line, like, Shift Tree is going to be such an epic Pokemon to get, and... I still don't have a seed out, but I really like um, Nuzleaf. And we got the Nuzleaf there. Um, registered to the Pokedex. Nice. That's a good one to have. And let's check the... Never mind. And right here we have actually a 797 Gloom. Um, again, still just, you know, going home. And, um, this was because it was sunny, so grass types are <laughs> boosted, so we, so we got the glo so we got the gloom here, and he broke out. I actually saw a lot more of these things, but, um, I just didn't decide to catch them, especially on camera, just like, okay, we already saw it, so, like, it's kind of like, eh, now. Um, <sighs> ah. Let's see if we can get it, and finally, we got it that time so there is the gloom done and dusted and let's see if there's anything else nearby and it looks like there is not so all right hold on a sec catch my favorite pokemon of this generation i can't believe i already found him yes got it Mud kit, baby. Let's go. Two of the starters already down, you guys. Oh. Oh. Oh, Nathan's gonna be jelly. He's gonna be jelly. I actually pine up that. That was cool. And then, oh, we got, we got another new one. We got an electrite. <laughs> Let me see the target right now. I found another new one. How about that? Filling up this deck too quickly. So where do you, where do you go to the bathroom? Yeah, and then didn't you say you had to get something else? Yeah. Uh-huh. And then there we go, boys. Electric. Man, that thing looks sick. I think I saw one of these um near my house. Huh? Oh, <laughs> it's like Black Friday all over again. And back to the voiceover, we have a 1,002 jump bluff right here. Trying to savage season in. Usually don't see a, one, a jump bluff over 1,000 nowadays. Or 
at all, and he broke out, obviously, and because it's sunny, so, um, the grass types are stronger, and they spawn more frequent, so this is a pretty cool spawn, um, got the jump off, we used the great ball, and, you know, we learned our lesson, so, alright, jump off, pretty cool Pokemon, there's a Doug Trio on my nearby, which is kind of cool. And right here, we have um, a new Pokemon we're coming up on. I actually didn't know the name of until we actually got up here. And it's a Roselia, which looks absolutely sick. In 1186, and I'm not, I didn't know if these things evolved or not, and I found out that they didn't, but I didn't have any Ultra Balls, so, um... I had to use a great ball. You see, this is what I gotta work with here. But anyway, I got the Roselia, which is absolutely awesome. Now, I'm not sure if these are gonna be common around my area, but we will see. There we go, Roselia, boys. Roselia in the Pokédex. Um, kind of a fun thing to say. And uh, there's actually another one on nearby. So, um, we're gonna be heading out into the dark. For a late night Pokemon Go adventure. Let's see what. So we do have a Roselia here. Oh no, there's a cat. There's a cat, and I have my dog with me. Yep. Oh boy. Yeah, the daily struggle. But yeah, I already caught one of these, as you saw in the footage. Um, I walked past the tree going next. No, like that. Just to go. So. But well, we got the Roselia, so that's kind of cool. Um, you see, so you get more starters for catching that kind of Pokemon. Also, yeah, so it's clear weather right now, so fire types spawn more frequently. Which I kind of like, because we never get fire types here. Really, the only fire type we get is Vulpix. So there's Vulpix everywhere right now. That's a dog. That is a dog that we should not go near. Okay, we'll be back. Uh, we got a Sneasel, kind of cool, I mean, not when you have a Sneasel nest, thank you, um, eh, kind of cool, but, I don't know, like, I don't want to be stuck up on these bad boys, see if we can get it at least, God, I wish I could go to the store and buy some. Something like a candy bar. Oh, that would be that'd be awesome. We're gonna transfer the sneasel out because, like, look, there's another one on the nearby. Not the same place. So I'll, we have yet another Rosalia. It seems like these are gonna be common in clear conditions and clear and sunny conditions. I see the, the same truck rolling around. That's that's kind of creepy. I don't know if he's trying to duck me or something. But, I don't know. Um, we do have an area dust, actually. So, this, this can kind of hype up the video. We got a rare spawn here. Sort of. Area dust. Oh, boy. Bad throw. Well, not really bad throw. Just bad timing. So, yeah. Area dose. That's not that's not bad, I mean. Wait a sec. Wait a sec, we got a new Pokemon. Alright, I'll be back with you. I have no idea what that is. So I'll be right back, you guys. Um I think I know where it's at, but what the heck is this thing, you guys? Um I mean we got the whatever, kinda looks like a pig. A spoink. Aw, that's kinda cute. Um, I, that's savage, isn't it? <laughs> savage season. That's a green circle. Oh. This looks like one of the harder ones to hit. I don't think it has a dodge in it, though. So. Anyway, yeah, let's go and register a new one to the Pokestack. Bah! Got him! <laughs> yeah! Ooh. Nice. Alright. Get yet another new Pokemon registered. A Spoink. That looks kind of cute, actually. <laughs> I've never heard of it. 
Oh, actually, I saw it's evolve form today. I didn't know exactly what it was. So, oh, it looks like we got a zigzagoon. Actually, we got a zigzagoon right here. I was wondering when I was going to find one of these things. All right, I still have one of these things. I know they're pretty common. Uh, let's just throw a Pokeball at it. So we got a zigzagoon right here. Looks like sort of a raccoon type thing. And that kind of makes sense. Zigzagoon. Bah! Got the zigzagoon. I should have threw a pineapple at it. I have like 83 of them. Oh well. All right, let's register zigzagoon to the Pokedex. Nice. Right next to the Mudkip. <sighs> Near Mudkip, at least. Um, nice. All right, let's see if there's any Tricos, and then I'll probably call her a day. All right, just for no reason, let's end this video off with an EV, just so I can sort of do the outro with an EV. So, not a bad hunt. We got two new Pokemon to spawn for a Zigzagoon. Um, that was pretty cool. Kind of, again, kind of like a late night hunt. And I'm on my own, it's just me and my dog. So, yeah, I kind of like doing these. Um, kind of like late night hunts. But not when your hands are freezing. That's what makes it not fun. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm gonna keep on posting things about Gen 3. Um, this channel is gonna be transitioning to a Pokemon Go channel here for like a week because I'm honestly hyped. I mean, this already was sort of a Pokemon Go channel, but just not this frequent. So I'm excited for Gen 3. I hope you guys are too. And so please, smash that like button if you want to see some more Gen 3. Um, please subscribe and follow my channel for any like updates or anything. If you like my channel. And probably no one does. But anyway, just see you guys like, comment, subscribe. And um, yeah, also yeah, comment what you want to see next. Alright, see you guys later. Bye bye. This video is not over, you guys. Just walking home, I'm like, okay, I'll just keep the apple for the second case. And, you know, maybe there's something to spawn point. A fucking Plusle! Yes! Um, I know this is part of the Pikachu family. I forgot what the other thing was. It has a minus sign on it. I don't know. It has something to do with, like, subtraction and stuff. But we got a Plusle here! That's savage, isn't it? So, Plusle. This is awesome, you guys. Oh, he's so, he's so little, tiny, cute. Alright, anyway, yeah, this is a puzzle. So, three new Pokemon now. Registered to the deck tonight. Whew, this video wasn't over. Oh, that's awesome. And there's Plusle. Man, he looks so sick. And I know these things can get pretty big. So, like, 115, that's nothing for a puzzle. That's absolutely nothing. It's a decent Pokemon. Oh my god. Was it worth freezing my hands off for? Yes. Alright. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to have to video with the plus This is the real outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all later. Please like, comment, subscribe.